that's the way we came in uh, real easy to get in here to Fun and Sun RV Resort. And this is the entryway. When you arrive, you'll just pull off up to the right there, right in front of the guard shack. And uh, we came in on a Sunday, and I'll tell you, the gentleman that checked us in was super helpful. Uh, he called somebody to go take us to our site. Uh, we would have had a, some difficulty getting into the site they wanted to put us in initially. And uh, so uh, the guy rode me around in the golf cart and we found a site that would accommodate my 38-foot uh, fifth wheel. And uh, we switched uh, sites. We've had nothing but a positive experience with the staff here. So let's, let me take you down and give you a walking tour of Fun and Sun RV Resort here in San Benito, Texas. A little footnote here, Fun and Sun RV Resort in San Benito, Texas is part of the Trails Collection. That's an add-on to our Thousand Trails membership. It's an optional add-on. It allows us access to snowbird destinations like this one. We sure have got a lot of use out of the Trails Collection over the last two years we've been a member of Thousand Trails. Let's go down in and take a look at the Fun and Sun RV Resort. After we checked in on Sunday, on the next Monday morning, we uh, went into the registration office here at Fun and Sun RV Resort. There's three uh, plexiglass windows. Uh, they have a very friendly staff, very accommodating, gave us our packet, explained everything to us and uh, we were real happy with the service we re received from the, uh, the reception area. They have a fitness center here at Fun and Sun RV Resort. Everything's closed. I think I mentioned everything's closed because of COVID. You can't really see in there. They have a uh, fitness center here at Fun and Sun RV Resort. In addition to being an RV resort, they have a lot of Snowbird modular homes here. This is one of the nicer streets within the resort. Taking a walk up here and checking this out. Boy, the wind is really blowing today. But it's warm, mid 70s today in January. Some of the homes are really fixed up nice. What's that saying there? It's wine o'clock. up nice. Got some chimes on the porch. Here's a look down one of the other streets here in the, the modular home section. Looks like that's Oleander Street. catch up with Melody. And they do have a wood shop here at Fun and Sun RV Resort. And I suppose if you stayed on this street, you would be on Easy Street. There you go. Life on Easy Street. Let's take a peek at this uh, they have a bunch of these pull-through sites, premium sites, with uh, a stone 
table and seating area. Nice site there. Site 57 it looks like. Right after you pass Easy Street, you have Friendly Street. And uh, I like how they name these streets. The next one up is Gentle Street and Melody and I are on Harmony Street. Let's uh, go up and walk down Harmony Street. I'll take you to our campsite. This is Harmony Street. You can tell by the way Melody's dressed. It's uh, really warm today. It's in the upper 70s. Not bad for January. One of the pluses that coming to the Rio Grande Valley in winter. We're going to be on the right hand side down here just beyond that modular home on the right is my uh, Cougar fifth wheel. I think I'll set up the our sitting chairs today. We've had a couple cool days last couple days so I haven't been sitting out but uh, the rest of the week is supposed to be really nice. So we are in site H41. We have lots of space. We have a cement seating area. Right now I got my truck backed up on the seating area. But, uh, let me take you around this side of the campsite and show you what this, how the utilities are set up. Um, See the sewer right there. We got water. You have a 50 30 amp electric hookup in there. Uh, they do have free cable and internet, but you have to go to Spectrum and pick up the box. It's no charge. Um, the uh, that green. That green post right there is the cable connection. Um, but we're only going to be here two weeks, and I didn't want to go through all that rigmarole of picking up the box and putting a deposit down and turning the box back in because you have to drive off property to do all that. Um, this is our site. So uh, I'll show you around a little bit later, but uh, let's go in and check on Milo. He's probably right at the door. There's Milo. Hi, Milo. Come on, let's go inside. Let's go get yummies. Let's go get some yummies. They have a library. All these facilities are closed right now due to COVID, but they have a library here at Fun and Sun RV Resort. They have mini golf, which is open. There's some people playing mini golf right there. And I have no idea what this is. I'll have to, I guess I should Google it. I have no idea what a lapidary shop is. We're on our way to the doggy park. Milo wants to go to the doggy park. Melody was just commenting how nice the putt-putt uh, golf looked. We're going to have to check in to see where we can get the clubs at. I imagine it's the activity office. And give that mini golf course uh, a little go here before we leave Fun and Sun RV Resort. Milo and I go to this. Oh, this is the uh, beauty shop and barber shop. Has not been open since we've been here, but they do have uh, those facilities here. They're also on the park map that they give you. Then they have uh, several different dog parks. Um, Here's two of them. This is for large dogs. 
and Milo has his own doggy park. It's marked for small dogs. So he knows where he's going. Small dog area. And I will close this. After Milo does his stuff, then uh, we brought his balls. He likes to play ball. I have a little seating area here in the doggy park with a cover over it. You can actually go from one uh, doggy park to the other. They have an internal fence right there. I want to clear her down the other end. We went into the large doggy park because uh, there's another dog there. Good job, Milo! And right by one of the uh, recreation halls, they have a uh, Colligan water refill, refill station. So that's convenient. Looks like it's uh, 25 cents to fill up a gallon of water. They do have a hot tub at the Sun and Fun RV Resort. Adjacent to the pool. Wow, it's a nice day today. A little windy, but nice day. Mid-70s. Here at Fun and Sun RV Resort, San Benito, Texas. Melody's checking out the chapel here at Fun and Sun RV Resort. In fact, I think I'll go in and if there's nobody in there. We'll see what the inside looks like. Pretty cute in there, huh? Got stained glass windows. Really nice. Well, they're supposed to have a food truck down here today at the rec hall. I wonder if that's what this line of golf carts is for. It's around the corner here and see what's going on. See if that's why they're lined up. They have a supposed to have a food truck here for a couple hours today. Oh they do. Wouldn't you know? They have a line. That's nice they have somebody come in. Uh, it's like they got a generator going, but they uh, definitely had people lined up. The food must be good. Most of the activities here at Fun and Sun RV Resort um, were closed during our our stay because of COVID, but uh, they do have some really nice facilities here. Uh, this is a miniature race car track that they have here right across from the office area. Melody's over there by the tennis courts. Uh, but they have all kinds of different uh, shops. I think they even had uh, um, Stain, a stained glass shop. Um, they have barber shop on site. All kinds of different things. Um, they say it's booming when uh, with activity. But uh, of course, we're in an abnormal situation having having COVID. But this is this is a, a really nice 
track that they got here you could have a lot of fun at this track if you do the miniature race car we did our laundry off-site the first week we were here oh he's going back in take another look at it uh, there's people in there right now so I'm not gonna take you in there but uh, she had problems with the uh, machines you needed a car so we went down to a local laundromat we did our laundry the first week um, they do have a computer room a laundry room uh, the mail room is in here uh, there, there was uh, it was really easy to sign up for a key I had my mail sent from my mail service to uh, fun and sun RV resort US Postal Service uh, priority mail uh, and uh, you have your own mailbox you have different activity rooms and the main office is up on the end there welcome back to the laundry room here at Sun and Fun RV Resort Melody did our second uh, laundry day here at the resort she did end up getting the um, cards to work to load money on and uh, she drove over herself to do the laundry looks like it's two dollars to wash and a dollar seventy five to dry very large facility and as with other Encore and Thousand Trails RV resorts. They have the CSC service network. You load money on a card. She didn't have a problem doing that. Once she purchased the card, I think it was $2, she could uh, um, put money in um, dollar bills, five dollar bills, in and uh, uh, recharge the card and just use the card in the slots on the uh, washer and dryer see there's slots in the washer and dryers so they have folding tables quite a few washers and dryers in this facility they have seating area the Wi-Fi is really fast in fact I'm gonna go back up my phone um, I sat outside here last night and backed up one of my iPhones but there's a lock uh, there's a look at the laundry room a real nice facility and uh, so I'm glad she gave it a try the second uh, week we were here. Activity office, the mail room is right in there. Very large mail room, and the people are so helpful. Um, very helpful, uh, both when we checked in and especially in the mail room. They spent about five minutes with us in there, filling us in on things. Uh, across the street, they have a music room. And these are only a sampling of the buildings. They have a lot of buildings with activities here at Fun and Sun RV Resort. A little armadillo. Actually, it's a big armadillo. Milo spotted him first. Hi, guy. You're so cute. Don't run away. Well, this is a really cute area they have here. This is on the back side of where the, uh, the tennis courts are. It's called Dew Drop In Park. Looks like they have a 
little garden established there, but uh, they have some outdoor seating. This would be a nice place to bring your cup of coffee in the morning. Come out, come out and sit. There's another table there. It's really nice. My campsite is back over this way. I'm making my way back to my campsite. Well, I'm heading back to my campsite and I was noticing those Deutschlander flags. Made me feel at home. When Melody and I spent about three and a half years in the Federal Republic of Germany when I was in the Army. But uh, Melody likes to talk. And uh, so she was giving me a wave. She's over at our neighbor's side over there. See, she's waving. She's waving there. She's uh, making friends with somebody. <laughs> Anyhow, on the way back to my site, and I'll show you around a little bit more. In my site, that's my cougar sitting right over in there. But uh, in this next row over, there's some of these nice pull through sites with the cement. Um, seating area with uh, cement table and chairs. They have quite a few of them. Well, I'm back at my site. It's supposed to be another gorgeous day tomorrow. We're going to go out to um, Boca Chia Beach. It's right on the border, literally right on the border with Mexico. Uh, it's about as far south in Texas as you can go. There's a two state parks, a wildlife, uh, a wildlife preserve, three different public lands that all come together. And uh, it's kind of difficult to discern who has jurisdiction over the free camping that's down there at Boca Chia Beach um, from doing online research. So I'm gonna go down and uh, check it out and see what kinds of signs are posted and see where the boundaries are. And uh, there's a SpaceX facility. We're gonna go check that out. So tomorrow's a day trip. We're packing a lunch. We're gonna go see the Gulf of Mexico. Got another week here at Fun and Sun RV Resort and I'll be checking back in with you. We had a great time at Fun and Sun RV Resort. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.